When you think of summer, what immediately comes to mind? We like to think of cold, fruity beverages, bright, clear, sunny days, fun with friends, relaxing days at the beach, spontaneous, life-changing road trips, and delicious, mouth-watering grilled food. Summer isn't all sunshine and rainbows, however. For the susceptible and the unprepared, summer can be a deadly menace. Japan is known for sakura, sushi, kanji, Pokemon, sumo, and ninjas, but did you know about Japan's hot summers? And when I say hot, I mean blazing hot. Even on the subways, the dense masses of people elevate temperatures to beyond uncomfortable levels. It has been so hot, headlines this summer have been breaking with record highs in heat-related temperatures and deaths. A convergence of high-pressure systems from Tibet and the Pacific have caused one of the deadliest heat waves Japan has ever seen. After an irregularly long rainy season, we wish we could have the clouds back. A difference of only two weeks in the end of the rainy season saw hospital admissions for heat stroke jump from the single digits on July 17th to over 100 on July 29th. If and when our bodies are assaulted by hot temperatures, we have a natural defense mechanism, sweat. When the temperature outside rises higher than our body, such as in Japan recently, we are unable to sweat and heat stroke ensues. Tragically, more than 18,000 people in Japan were taken to the hospital in the last two weeks. The death toll as of August 7th was 59 people. Because of this, the heat wave has now been classified as a natural disaster in Japan. If you plan to visit Japan during the summer and must be in the sun, here are a few tips. First, drink water. Lots and lots of water, regularly. If you can, find shade and some water to dip your feet in. Leave the heavy fabrics at home and wear as light of fabrics as you possibly can. Additionally, Bringing an umbrella can help you avoid the worst of the sun's deadly rays. It is also important to listen to news broadcasts for any updates about particularly harsh upcoming weather or current warnings. And for those who enjoy a beverage or two, avoid the alcoholic ones during the day. Alcohol will leave you dehydrated and most susceptible to heat stroke.